I wasn't always an art guy. I actually am a science nerd. I used to do marine biology and illustration kind of came about when I was in the water. I'd surface and had to draw out what I had because my camera was one of those old school wind up quick cameras that you put in a case and of course it was a blurry thing. So I'd have to try to describe an animal by drawing it. So I have journals full of what I saw underneath. I just kept drawing more and more and people started liking my stuff more and more. And I never thought it was much of a really solid like artist person until Instagram came rolling around. I would just post pictures and I would send a daily just a little doodle and send a little note out or something else. And um, fast forward only about five, six years ago, uh, 1975 gallery, Eric Lehman and a bunch of other people all liked my work at the exact same time and asked me to be in shows. I'm like, me? I mean, I like literally turned behind me like you must be talking about it's like my, it's just doodles I thought. and. Uh, I got offered to be in a couple art groups here in Rochester, uh, which changed the game on how I did it because I, I love working with other artists and seeing how they do things. I learned a lot by sitting next to very talented Rochesterians and looking how, oh, that's how you paint? Oh, I've been doing it backwards this entire time. I've only been painting really maybe less than 10 years, and it's all thanks to being in this great crowd of uh, Rochester, a super creative group. My art and community sort of kind of merged together. What drives you from one medium to another? A uh, shiny object, really what it is. I see something, I'm like, I want to try that. I just want to know how to do everything in life, I think. I, life's way too short, I want to know how to do it all, and just, I like learning stuff, I like making things, painting. I just see cool stuff, I'm like, I want to try that. And maybe it's just foolishness that I haven't realized I should you know, do a handful of little things, but I try to take it all on and try to learn about it. Sometimes it's by meeting a really amazing person, or an artist, and I see what they're doing, and they just, we hang out, make art together. Uh, so sometimes it's been inspired by others. I'm okay with having people not get my art because it makes me laugh. Like, I'll make a big piece, and I'll have it on the wall, and I'll see 100 people walk in front of it and just not get it. And then one guy in the back that laughs. There's a guy over there, I'm like, that's, you're my guy. You're, I made this for you, please. I'm a full-time weirdo doing artwork. Mm -hmm.